My roots, however, are here in Villa Cidro, a place where I was not born. As a young man, only here did I feel at home, only here did my life seem to make sense, and even now, every time I go back there, I still feel that I can really understand everything. Here I had my first great readings, either walking along these boulevards, shaded by these pines, which my grandfather had planted when he was young, or sitting on the steps of the ancient church of Carmine. It was here that I'd fallen in love for the first time. In a documentary produced by Desi, Sardegna, un itinerario nel tempo, Sardinia, an itinerary in time, these are the words the writer uses to refer to Villa Cidro, its pinewood and the small church of Carmelo. The pinewood and the church, rising behind the inhabited centre, are frequently mentioned in the pages of Desi. The most famous ones are found in Pese d'Ombre, where the author explains how and by whom the pinewood had been planted. A long time ago, these mountains were covered by forests and woodlands, later destroyed by indiscriminate cutting for wood production, aimed at supplying the nearby foundries. Then, in 1888, an enlightened mayor, the Angelo Uras, mentioned in Paese d'Ombre, decided to bring the mountains back to their former appearance, so as to right wrongs. 500 pines were planted out, integrated by 1,500 more during the following year. In a few years, 130,000 trees were planted. Still today, the beautiful green coat on the sides of Mounts Omo and Cucoredo are a source of pride for the small town, besides representing a cool shelter against the summer heat. A favourite destination for people from Villa Cidro, as for strangers, the locality becomes especially enlivened during the festival dedicated to the Virgin of Carmelo. In those days, from the 15th to the 31st of July, the small shrine, whose construction apparently dates back to the 17th century, is animated and coloured with wreaths and festoons. Every evening for 15 days, at sunset, a number of pilgrims and faithful invade the area, strolling among the pines, giving honour to the simulacrum of the Virgin and breathing the cool breezes, i bentus de sucramo, the winds of Carmelo, that, according to a legend, will keep on blowing for the whole duration of the festival. <laughs>